one of the main options I like to talk about whenever I, I think of any tips and tricks is a very basic function found when you right click called toolpath editor. To elaborate a little bit on this particular toolpath uh, editor option here, I mentioned API threads uh, just a few seconds ago. And one of the things I like to do on API threads is when I'm finishing the OD, I actually like to rough the surface up a little bit. So my finish on, on, the, threads, uh, on the thread location will actually be like 20 thou per revolution. And the reason being is because I'm coming back with a topping insert, and this allows you know not just me but the operator visually to be able to see, you know, when that topping insert hits that surface, it's definitely going to clean up that rough edge and give him a visual to let him know exactly when he is actually at a certain location. But the problem here is as I go over this thread area, and then I come to the back of any kind of API thread or any other surface that we you know, maybe this surface here is a seal surface and we have to slow down. This is where my toolpath editor comes into play. Now, as, primi as primitive as it looks here, you'll notice that I have this little red dot and I have a position for the point. If I move this dot to point two, the red dot moves down. But we have all these functions here. I could delete sections, I could delete points, delete passes, cuts. I want a function on the left side. We'll bypass the move point option and we're going to look at the edit point options here. When I open this up, we can see that we're in a rapid motion. I can see if I have cutter comp on or off and I can also see my coolant options as well. We'll go ahead and go to a feed motion here and we can see I got 5 thou per revolution. And this is just the default that we have selected. But let's move to a surface that we might want to maybe slow down even more. So I'll go to point 12 actually. Remember it's always traveling to the point shown. So in this case point 12, let's go a little higher right there, point 13. I'm going to edit this point. I'm going to tell it that, you know what, on this one, I want to go really slow. We'll do 2,000 per revolution. If I go to my next point afterwards, point 14, and I go back to my edit point, you'll notice that it's still modal. I want to change that back to 5. I can add any kind of rapid motion. I can change whether I want to go uh, between inches per minute, inches per rev, and I can shut the cooling off if needed. I can also add stop options too. But right now, I just want to discuss the feed rate. What we're going to see here when I say, you know what, let's go ahead and green check, is we get this lock option that we see here. Whenever we do this, if I try to regenerate, Mastercam will not regenerate this toolpath. It is locked. And the only way to regenerate is to unlock. I will give a pointer here and say, in times like this, I like to add comments for myself. And in this comment, I will say, edit made to, I don't know, we'll say sill area, right? And I can green check. Now I'm going to drag this above that lock operation. And I'm going to ghost this out. So this is a little trick I use whenever I make edits with a lock on it. I'll add a manual entry and I'll ghost it out so it doesn't come out in the output for the operator. But if you ever need to go back, say it's two years down the road and you want to see what happened in this lock operation here, you can always go back and check your notes for yourself. I also do this, oddly enough, for revisions. I'll ghost it out and show the mini edits or whatever edits or revisions for the part that I actually have for my part file here.